Okay, so in this video, um, we will show you how to con convert a strategy into an algorithm. So how to extract the algorithm from just a strategy. So our problem is to operate the vending machine. And our strategy was to put in coins until amount exceeds the price of the item, right? So there's two things here uh, that we watch for, okay? One is putting points, which is the action that we're taking, and the other is the condition, okay? So this word until, as you know, suggests that there is repetition. So if we take the strategy and, and uh, use it, and so all we have to do is then record all the steps of um, all the steps that we do when we use the strategy. So the first step is to put in a coin. And since we are doing it until the amount is greater than or equal to price, this means that the next thing we should do is to check if amount greater than or equal to price and if so we should do something which is essentially make our selection and collect item and change okay and the next step will be again since all we're doing is putting a point we'll just again Coin. Again, we ask the same question. If amount greater than price, and then of course we do the same thing again, and then we put in coin again, and so on, and so on, and we just keep doing this. So this is what the what we get as the list of our actions. Okay, first action was to put in a coin. The second action was to actually do this comparison, and if this was true, to do this. And then the third action was to again put in a coin, of course, unless of course you did this, in which case the process would terminate. Otherwise, if we put in a coin again, we would do a check, and so on. So th this is the way we have, we have kind of logged all, the, lo all our actions when we were following this strategy. So now we look at this log, and you can turn this into a flowchart which can also turn into a pseudocode if you like. So the first thing that you do is to remove these boxes and you put in a coin. Okay. This stuff goes into this box. So the next thing you have to do is this. And so since that is a, a, a question that we are asking, you need a diamond. So we ask the question among price. Okay. So this is what goes in here. Okay. And there's two possible answers. Okay. So this is a yes no question. If the answer was yes, then I need to do all this stuff, so I will make selection collect item and change. Okay. And here, if the answer is no, I go back here. And that terminates the process. Okay, uh, and that completes the process. So in this case here, you see you have the repetition. You get the loop. So basically, I can take this sequence of my actions that I logged and convert it into a flowchart. And of course, this thing is done here. So this is the basic operation. Okay. 
And so you can use this in any situation as long as you can take your strategy and you can you know how to follow your strategy and you very carefully log all the steps. The mistake that beginners often make is they forget a key step. For instance, you might just see only record the fact that you put in a coin, but not record the fact that you also checked if the amount was greater than equal to price. And so that is where often programs go wrong because you did not really completely log all the things that you're doing when following the strategy.